linear. Sorry, I'm going to go to regression, linear. And this time, instead of propensity to stay as being the dependent, I'm going to put job satisfaction as the dependent. And I want to remove the effect of job engagement from job satisfaction and see what's left over. So once again, my statistics, I don't want anything coming through here, continue. And uh, my plots, sorry, uh, my save, I'm going to save the unstandardized residuals. So I hit continue. And I'm going to hit OK here. And what we get is, well, all the ANOVA and so on tables uh, come out. But what we actually have now is we have actually, if we actually have a look at this here, the regression we've created another variable here another residual variable which is i suppose it's job satisfaction okay job sat satisfaction along with job engagement it's the unexplained variation yeah the unexplained variance uh, in job satisfaction after we remove job engagement so now what we have is we have two residuals We've got all of the unexplained variants, yeah, uh, after we remove job engagement from propensity to stay and after we remove job engagement from job satisfaction. So let's correlate them two things here together and see what we get. Now I'm actually just going to close down this output window because there's a lot of output here already. So I'm just going to close that down, save the contents, no. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go analyze, correlate, bivariate. I'm going to reset this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in, oh, let me just get rid of this here. The label so that we can actually see what I've put in over here the variable names and uh, that will hopefully will come up with these names here we want to use so analyze correlate bivariate and I'm putting in propensity to stay residuals and job satisfaction residuals after we take out job engagement and I want to do a Pearson correlation so let's hit OK on that and what we actually see here as well well there you go the correlation between propensity to stay after we've removed the job engagement variance and uh, job satisfaction after we remove job engagement uh, variance is 0 0.570. And that's the partial correlation. Okay? So you can see that we actually generate these partial correlations. <clears throat> and generate these partial correlations uh, by looking at the residuals, which is exactly what this this defines, these partial correlations defines. The residuals are are the unexplained variance, if that makes sense. Now, in relation to the part correlation, in relation to a part correlation, we just remove the 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 variance, the explained variance with respect to the independent variables. Okay, so if I want to do the part correlation uh, of let's say propensity to stay and job satisfaction, well, what I do is I remove the job engagement variance from job satisfaction. So let's have a look at that. So I'm going to go to analyze, uh, correlate, uh, bivariate. Uh, this time, I'm having a look at. Let me just reset this. Okay? I'm going to check uh, the propensity to stay, okay? the whole variable, okay? and I'm going to remove. I'm going to look at the correlation between job satisfaction and propensity to stay, but the residual of job satisfaction on job engagement. In other words, the unexplained variation, if that makes sense. And this is what's known as a part correlation. Right? So where we've where we've removed some of the variance from an independent variable, but we haven't removed it from the dependent variable, if that makes sense. Okay? So in this case, we're going to hit OK on that. And what we get is, well, we get the propensity to stay along with job satisfaction is 0.559. Okay? Uh, so it's it's it, it, it's actually it's actually getting it's actually getting smaller there. Okay? And we can continue doing these zero order, these partial and these part cor and these particular these part correlations. Uh, if that if if that, if that makes sense. Okay, guys. Uh, once again, this was Jonathan Lambert uh, with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. And I hope that this video, uh, looking at SPSS, and in particular within SPSS, a number of ways for calculating or for generating zero order, partial order, and part correlations. I hope that this was helpful, uh, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Okay?